this weekend, the NASCAR Xfinity Series has a home game, basically, at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Alsco 300. This race might only be half the length of this weekend's Coca-Cola 600, but it's going to provide just as much, if not more, excitement. JRM is still seeking their first win of the 2023 season, and it very well could come tomorrow. As last year, Josh Berry and Justin Allgaier dominated the event. Who is going to win? Who's going to run up front? And who on earth is leading the point standings going into Charlotte? We're going to preview all that and more coming up next on The Spotter Stand. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Spotter Stand YouTube channel. Welcome to the NASCAR pre-race show for the 2023 Allsco 300 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Meant for this to be out last night, but oh well, life happens, scheduling happens. Not only are we going to preview this weekend's race, which was moved up to 12 p.m. Eastern, FS1, PRN, Series X, and NASCAR Radio, we have practice and qualifying results to go over. Um, Schedule-wise, since practice and qualifying are knocked out, the race is really the only thing to talk about schedule-wise, and it is tomorrow. Moved up an hour because of possible inclement weather. This may be just a race to halfway tomorrow and not a race to the finish, but around an 11.20 central green flag or around 12.20 eastern green flag. Um, and then previous, I believe, starts at 11.30 or 11 eastern on FS1. One of those. Practice, though. Um, Ty Gibbs is in the field, as is Kyle Busch, but it's John Hunter Nemechek, who may or may not be my pick, who leads practice. Then Ty Gibbs, Allgaier in third. If it's not going to be Nemechek or Gibbs or Kyle Busch, JRM is a great shot. Barry won here last year. Allgaier super good here last year. They had never won at Charlotte, though, before that win. We have Allgaier, fastest in practice. Uh, or third, sorry, Hemrick fourth, Kyle Busch fifth. Ten card just hasn't had a ton of speed this year. Only win was Almendinger at Coda. Kyle Busch and Xfinity to raise three or four. Looking for his first win. Chandler Smith sixth, Sam Mayer seventh, Riley Herbst eighth, Cole Custer ninth, Sammy Smith tenth, Sheldon Creed eleventh, Brandon Jones twelfth, Josh Berry down in thirteenth, Austin Hill fourteenth, Carson Hosevar fifteenth. Ran a really solid race at Darlington. Solid in practice. Clement, 16th. Parker Retzloff, 17th. Uh, fast pass to Anthony Alfredo, 18th. Connor Mosak, 19th. Rajah Karuth, 20th. Jeb Burton, 21st. Joe Graff, Jr., 22nd. Kyle Weatherman, 23rd. Brett Moffat, 24th. Parker Kligerman, 25th. Stephen Parsons, 26th. Ryan Sieg, 27th. Brendan Fool, 28th. Josh Williams, 29th. Jeffrey Earnhardt in 30th. Kaz Gorilla, 31st. Dawson Cram, 32nd. Kyle Sieg, 33rd. Garrett Smithley, 34th. Ryan Ellis in 35th. Blaine Perkins, 36th. Timmy Hill, the Intimidator, 37th. Uh, Patrick Emmerling, 38th. Natalie Decker, 39th. CJ McLaughlin rounds out the practice chart in 40th. I believe two cards go home or went home already, I guess, since qualifying already happened. Let's see who's on the poll. I haven't even looked at this yet. Justin Allgaier on the poll. John Hunter Nemechek will be starting beside him on the front row. Ty Gibbs starting third, Cole Custer starting fourth, Brandon Jones starting fifth, Kyle Busch starting sixth, Sheldon Creed starting seventh, Sam Mayer starting eighth, Jeb Burton starting ninth, Chandler Smith starting tenth, Daniel Hemrick will roll off the grid in eleventh, matching his car number, Brett Moffat in twelfth, considerable improvement there from practice, Riley Herbst thirteenth, Josh Berry didn't move much at all from practice in fourteenth, Josevar practice fifteenth, Qualified 15th. Fast Pasta in 16th. Austin Hill 17th. Sammy Smith 18th. Raja Karuth in 19th. Solid stuff from him so far this weekend. Kligerman in 20th. Weatherman 21st. Stephen Parsons 22nd. Joe Graff Jr. 23rd. Kyle Sieg 24th. Connor Mosak 25th. Dawson Cram 26th. Jeremy Clements 27th. Smithley 28th. Josh Williams 29th. Ryan Ellis in 30th. Brendan Poole 31st. Kaz Gorilla 32nd. Natalie Decker in 33rd. Patrick Emmerling, 34th. Blaine Perkins, 35th. Ryan C, 36th. Parker Retzloff, 37th. Jeffrey Earnhardt, 38th. Timmy Hill, 39th. McLaughlin, 40th. So I, maybe nobody goes home. I'm not sure. Not exactly sure. We'll see tomorrow. Next race for these guys, by the way. I know we still have to run tomorrow, but it's out there in Portland. 
West Coast. So if we can't get it in tomorrow, maybe Sunday, maybe Monday, but that will be interesting. So John Hunter Nemechek has a one-point lead over Austin Hill in the regular season standings. Uh, they are both locked into the playoffs. Nemechek, Hill, Chandler Smith, Sammy Smith, Jeb Burton are your five drivers locked in to the playoffs on wins. You've also had A.J. Allmendinger, uh, Ryan Truex win races this year, but those are your five guys locked in on points. Seven drivers will make the play or uh, locked in on wins, rather. Seven drivers will get in on points. So you have, let's see here, first game on points, Oh, Geyer plus 97, Josh Berry plus 93, Cole Custer plus 91, Sheldon Creed plus 56, Riley Herbst plus 39, Sam Mayer plus 35, uh, Hemrick plus 33, he's the last man in, Kligerman at minus 33, Brandon Jones minus 43, Ryan Sieg minus 63, Brett Moffat minus 73, Parker Retzloff minus 95, Kaz Gurala is minus 112, Jeremy Clements minus 128, Anthony Alfredo minus 140, uh, Kyle Sieg minus 162, Joe Graff minus 165, Ryan Ellis minus 170, Brennan Poole minus 181, uh, Jeffrey Earnhardt minus 206, and that's it for full-time drivers. So Nemechek and Hill for the regular season could be a very intriguing battle. And all guard minus 53. Owner standings, uh, the 10 for Colleague is in 3rd. You have the 19 for JGR up there in ninth. The, the 92 is in 22nd. 02 is in 27th. I believe that's about it as far as notable ones go. Manufacturer-wise, I believe the Bowtie Brigade of Chevrolet is still in front. Indeed they are, by 36 over Toyota and 72 over Ford. Chevy with 7 wins, Toyota with 4, Ford with none. They're still trying to get in the win column. We'll see if they can do that this weekend. I think Cole Custer might be their best shot, but who knows? It might be Riley Herbst's time to shine, finally. I believe that's all we have, everybody. Post-race show for trucks tonight, pre-race show for cup tonight. The podcast is either out already or will be coming out and then obviously Xfinity post race tomorrow or if we don't run tomorrow an update video on when they might run or when they will be running coverage all weekend for truck Xfinity and cup at Charlotte Motor Speedway thank you for watching like subscribe comment share go listen to the below the online podcast here on the Spotter Stand YouTube channel nor on Spotify Google podcast or wherever you get your podcast I'm Samuel Suds from the Spotter Stand God bless peace out bye and subscribe